Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 53, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called Raise Your Fist. Raise your hands if you're sure. All right. Anyway, let's see who we have banned. Man, they are banning Lady Deathstrike like crazy. Can't blame them. Um, Void and uh, mm, Dermammu. Interesting. All right. Let's uh, see what they got planned for us here. I see somebody already went in. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, we don't have who we always see there, uh, future Ant-Man. Okay, so we've got um, Terax. Huh. You know, I think Gallon could probably handle these two. Haven't had to pull him out in a while. Um, let's see. Uh, she can just take any counter, really. And we've got uh, Nimrod. Uh, as long as... Uh, I think Gladiator could do it, but as long as they are uh, shock immune, it won't matter. Um, Hulkling could do it. For sure. And, uh, alright. Let's uh, see who he has uh, me assigned to. Alrighty. Let's see. All right, so for Terex, he has Wiccan. Yeah, Wiccan can do it. And let's see, for Warlock Doom? No. No, sir. Unless you have me using Doom elsewhere. Um, all right, let's see. America Chavez, Scorpion. All right, that's cool. Nimrod, Doom. Mm-mm. Both Nimrod and um, Warlock. Heck, I could use uh, Corvus for both of them. If I wanted to. And um, Gladiator, for sure. All right, let me see. Who does he have? Uh, da, 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 da. No. Okay, so I'm not assigned to any uh, of the um, minis for this war. So, hmm. Okay, I don't want to bring Doom. So let's take a look here. Terax, I mean... I'll bring in a absorbing man for that Terax. If I'm not going to be assigned any uh, mini, absorbing man can do Terax. Uh, for Warlock, uh, Corvus. For America Chavez, Scorpion. And for Nimrod, um, Corvus as well. Let me see something here. I think, um, see for shock, I wonder if um, Scorpion can do that uh, Nimrod as well. But I might just bring Gladiator. Scorpion, Absorbing Man, and Gladiator. Gladiator can handle um, both of those fights. Yeah, Absorbing Man for Terax. Um, Gladiator for Warlock. Scorpion for America Chavez. 
and Gladiator for Nimrod. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Gladiator is not um, shock immune. But I think Scorpion can be with his uh, pre-fights though, right? Okay, we're going to check that out. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to bring Doom. Uh, I just need somebody for Nimrod and Warlock. And Corvus, I'm thinking, would be fine with that. So I'm thinking Corvus, Scorpion, and um, Absorbing Man. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Okay. We're going in with Gladiator. Scorpion and Wiccan. So, not gonna lie, I'm not the greatest fan of Wiccan. And when I saw that I had him assigned to my attack team, I was like, oh no. So, I wanted to try somebody else because Wiccan was to go up against uh, Terex. And so, I'm like, who else do I have that's good against Terax that, you know, I can leave Wiccan home? And so I suggested, um, I forget, who did I suggest? Uh, let me look here real quick. It shouldn't be that far. Okay, so... I wanted to um, bring in Absorbing Man instead of Wiccan. And, you know, okay, that, that works. And so he was like, yeah, sure, if you, you can bring in Absorbing Man. Unfortunately, I have Absorbing Man on defense. And I don't have multiple Absorbing Man because they uh, have not come out with a seven star. So I was like, dang it. And I'm like, okay, all right. I guess I have to bring in Wiccan. And as you can see, Wiccan does just fine. I just don't like him because he, he can't really take a punch. And I don't feel like his damage compensates balances that out you know like you have hit monkey he's a glass cannon but you see the damage he can do he can't really take a hit either but look at what he can do wiccan is not really a proper glass cannon and i just don't care for him all right so anyway ooh, look at that armor failed we love seeing that so gladiator is currently my top champ and he is Sig 180. He will be uh, my first Sig 200 uh, seven star. I'm actually two Sigs away. So I left him at 180 because I may pull him and then I'd be mad at all the Sig stones I wasted. So I have him at 180. And if I can just get two, either two generics or two um, cosmic seven star Sig Stones, I'll put him up to a Sig 200. The reason is that usually when I'm using Gladiator, that Sig ability is very useful. That armor failed right at the beginning, that's because of the Sig ability. That Vigilance lasts longer the higher his Sig. Now, <clears throat> I was hoping that at SIG 200, it might be just enough to um, make it to a special two without the Vigilance dropping off. Don't know if that's gonna be possible, especially with the AI acting the way it does. If the AI acts a little bit passively, then that's all time eaten away, okay? So, I still want to get him to SIG 200 because it will give me more time to play around, but I'll still need to use an advanced power boost 
to make sure I get to um, my special two. In those matchups where I need to suppress the armor because Gladiator, while he can prevent the armor up, he doesn't have a way of getting rid of the armor ups. So once you miss and an armor up pops up, that's it. So we have to suppress it full. And SIG 200 will just give me more time in case the AI acts up uh, to get to a special two where I'll have an extra long vigilance. Now, it would have been cool if um, SIG 200 gave me like a 20 plus uh, second vigilance, but it doesn't. All right, so <clears throat> we're boosting up. We're in section two, and I'm not too worried about these next couple of fights. Uh, Scorpion, he is definitely one of my favorite science. One of them. Uh, I would love to see him as a seven star. But for the time being, he only exists as a six star. But I got him maxed out. You know, he is a six star, rank five, ascended. Um, I don't think I have him at SIG 200 because I don't think his SIG was all that uh, special. But he's he's up there. He'll be SIG 200 eventually. But his play style is pretty straightforward. You know, I like doing the medium medium. Puts those uh, poisons on or whatever I've uh, selected. Now, I messed up and did not select a pre-fight. The reason I always want to select a pre-fight is because he is not poison immune by default. As you can see here, I have that poison on me from my Liquid Courage Mastery. That is why I always want to do pre-fight, but I messed up and ran right into the fight without selecting the pre-fight. It's not gonna be a big deal for this fight, but it could have been a really big deal. So you gotta remember that he is what? Um, shock and rupture, I think, immune by default. So if I can select the rupture uh, pre-fight, which is what I usually do, because my opponents, the majority of them, are not immune to ruptures, then I will get the poison immunity. So now I think here... I did, um, what did I do? I, I went in with a gladiator. So as you know, with Nimrod, he gets a lot of armor ups. You can't armor break them. Now I could have brought Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill works um, just fine. So as you can see here, we went ahead and did the advanced power boost. Okay, he has no armor ups. And I'm almost, see how he's just blocking? All of that is eaten away at my time. And see, he's, um, he had me a uh, power lock for a second. And then look at that, just enough time. My, my vigilance ran out right as I was able to hit the special um, two. And I looked and I was like, is he running recoil? There's not really any good reason to run recoil masteries these days, not with the mastery loadout, but I'll take it. Uh, but anyway, I did not get assigned a mini for this particular war. So that's it for me for right now. We'll be back in a moment and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. All right, let's uh, take a look here. Yeah, we got him by a good amount, too. That is looking nice. Shout out to our MVPs. 
Um, we are still in tier two. So that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.